Welcome back. Let's talk today real briefly, as usual, about good habits. And this is a question that comes up every so often. I managed to ignore it, unfortunately. I just saw it in the YouTube comments somewhere. Again, the question being, Jake, what defines good habits? And the reason I actually like this question is there is a, some really important points there. Number one is quantify your screen time. Uh, what we found a bunch of times in the past is that people significantly underestimate and underreport their own screen time. Now, iOS has that screen time thingy thing that tells you how much time you spent on your phone screen, and Android has something like that too. Take a look at that if you have those kinds of things and see how many hours you spend in front of a screen in addition to mandatory screen time, right? Like, because there is the screen time that there's no option like you have work however many hours you're in front of a screen there forget that that's just a fact of life i have that you probably have that most people have that the recreational screen time when we're talking about good habits is kind of a starting point where you really want to look at can you divest some of that and i talk about this in other videos one of the excellent things to do to invest in yourself long term at least is finding things that are more tempting than screens and because here's that that thing always like if you have to make yourself do something it's really difficult to sustain right if you want to do something that's much easier to sustain so good habits is the kind of habit that encourages distance vision without being a chore right like i talk about going outside and practicing active focus but that's pretty boring and unless you build a habit and you just need that walk like i for example i work for two or three hours i go for an hour walk that's something that is really a strong habit for me. And if I don't do it, I don't feel right, right? But it's a boring habit. It's much more fun if you find hobbies, activities, things that you can do after work in the evening, before work in the morning, on the weekends, whatever the time may be that is good for you that are tempting, right? Because otherwise you're making excuses. Oh, I can't make it to this thing. Oh, I don't have time for this today. If it's something you want to do that you enjoy, you're much more likely to do it. And again, this is something I talk a lot about in other videos is hop online, see what kind of Facebook groups and meetup groups and groups that are related to a hobby that happens around where you live. I mean, that could be skiing or snowboarding or windsurfing or flying drones or whatever it is. Actually, I remember I spent a bunch of time in Utah learning to paraglide and there was a group of people that were flying little remote controlled airplanes and they're building them together and they're flying them and playing with them and that's like hours and hours of not being in front of a screen that you will find time for because you enjoy it so that's really the thing when you ask about good habits is when you're not working when you don't have to be in front of a screen evaluate how much of your habit-based activity recreationally involves a screen and then start realizing your life is finite, you're gonna die, and are you really gonna appreciate when you're close to death that you spend so much time watching Netflix, right? Or are you gonna go, maybe I should have gone, you know, or learned to rock climb. Maybe there's an indoor climbing gym in your area. Just something that generally might connect you with people, might be good for social interactions, and again, it's good for using that non-screen distance. It can be close up, you can be painting, right? but you're varying your distance. It's a natu more natural engagement of your eyes rather than staring at that fixed focal point in front of you. And I think that's a recurring theme and that's something that probably is gonna keep coming up more and more on my part is screen addiction is the top line thing as far as bad habits to address, right? Like your myopia and the, the continuation of your myopia and your screen addiction are very closely related because most people don't mind the myopia because they only use their eyes to look at a screen anyway so what does it matter if you go to the indoor rock climbing gym it's going to matter because those glasses are going to right like they're not going to be that easy to adjust when you're climbing and and you'll feel much better if you can use your natural focal plane if you can find the next grip without needing glasses or lower the optic glasses these are the things like it's kind of sounds silly on some levels but it's finding ways to reintroduce yourself to habits that are engaging you yourself with life um, and i attached a little one of the usual b-roll videos here of us going to the aquarium and the whole time i was thinking 
I would so much rather hop on a train to go to the island and take the two hour boat ride to get to the island and find a hotel and then find a boat that takes people out diving and then strap on a tank and feel the cold air rush and go dive down. And even if the water is murky and if there are giant sharks and cool things, I would much rather have that real experience. Right. And the more you're having real experiences, the more you're going to be drawn to real experiences. And the more the question of what are good habits is going to resolve itself, because when you look at your life, it's filled with things that are rewarding to you outside of work. Right. Like you're working, you're making the money, you've got the money. What do you spend the rest of the time with? Like the money that you made, like you're paying your rent, you're paying for your food. What's the rest of it? Is it screen time? Those are the habits that that you want to replace with something more tempting. Recurring theme. I know I keep saying it, but I'm hoping that some variation of this resonates with you and some variation of this tempts you to go, oh, yeah, I guess I'm skipping my life by just watching crap on Instagram and Netflix and YouTube and whatever. Those big corporations addict you to things that do nothing for you. That's it. Short rant. Find things to do. Leave comments if you find interesting outdoor hobbies because I always get questions from people. What should I go do? And the list is kind of endless. And if you have found interesting things, share them. That's it. See you in the next one.